How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, guys, to another episode here once again in our 1.19 Let's Play series. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, I know I am. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, let's jump in to today's episode here. So I wanted to show you guys something here. In between episodes, I found an, a massive, massive iron vein. I didn't know those things were so big down there. Like, look how much I got from Fortune 3. Like, I got 18, 19, 20, 20 and a half stacks exactly of raw iron. And we're going to put this iron to good use. As you guys may have known, I did kill two withers in the, the beginning episodes. And we have two beacons here. Well, I, I want to put them to use. Um, so, right now, I'm going to go ahead and use up all these furnaces here. Um, Furni, furnace, I'm going to put us one block of coal in each, and it should, it should be able to smelt just over a stack of items. I believe one block of coal should smelt over a stack of items. Um, let's see if that's actually true or not i'm not too sure um but let's go ahead okay we got we already got one in there oops got you in there okay let's grab this coal or this iron here there's so much i can't even fit it all in my inventory stick it all in here and i want to i want to make a beacon I don't know if I'll have enough here to make it all out of iron. If not, I have some emeralds that I've been um, gathering from those villagers down there. And I'll show you something pretty cool about that in just a second here. All right, well, hello? Oh, there's no coal in that one. Okay, while that's doing that, let's go down here real quick. I'll show you something I found pretty cool. I got a pretty sweet villager here. Um, oh, actually, I need resources. Um, you guys remember when I had the chicken farm, right? Well, we got all these feathers. Um, I thought about throwing them out, but then, then I got something pretty even better here. So we got all this string, too, from the spider farm. All these farms that I started earlier on starting to pay off. But this guy, look at this. One string per emerald. So we get stick 16 emeralds right there. We get another 16 emeralds right there. And not only that, let's grab. Do we have flint? I know I got flint around here somewhere. And I really got to make a better location. I keep like almost killing myself here. Um, do I have flint around here? There's three. There's another five. Okay, well, there's only eight, but I also... Let me grab some sticks here, also, and show you guys something pretty cool. That you guys can do just by curing the villagers over and over again. You just get a, village that you, a villager that you like, and you cure them over and over again, and you can literally lower their trades. There you go, I got another 16 there, and I get another eight there. 56 emeralds. I get, and look at this. I got emeralds for days. I would like to make a full emerald block beacon, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, I got 23 there. Uh, if I can use my rockets. 23 right there. And another 48 right there. So it's a stack and 7, right? And I think to make a full on beacon... We need just over two and a half stacks, but I have two beacons, so I got to make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if one block of coal can smelt over stack items. I think it can. Let's wait here and see. All this crackling. All that crackling. So it does actually seem like that they can smelt over a stack of items. As you can see, there's a little bit of flame left. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead, grab all of the iron here. 
And let's see if we can make enough blocks for our beacon. I want haste to and speed to around the base at all times. Uh, it'd be nice to also get some other effects. Iron blocks. Let's see here. We can. Ooh, I think we might have enough. Actually, where is the rest of that? Uh, hello? There you are. I hope I have enough. If not, I have other blocks too, but I would like to make them kind of nice looking if I can see it. Uh, let's see here. Iron blocks. Um, and emeralds are easy to come by, so... Because I can just trade. I just might actually make the outer shell the emeralds and the inner um just the iron so let's go ahead we need to find a spot for this i think we go i think our best spot i need to remove all these pillars i think that's what we would probably a hey, because i do that i need to remove that pillar that one and there's another one right there i don't get it there's a couple more up in here as well I don't know if that's the the new 1.19 uh, generation, but it, it's kind of annoying. So I think let's see if we can find a spot um for this. Uh, it's gonna be sticking the beams and be sticking out of the ground, but I want to know how far the beacons actually travel. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out in Creative World real quick. All right, so they actually go a long ways along the y-axis, so that's pretty good. But I think I think we're gonna put one in somewhere over here because the entrance I want to work on right here, and I want to have haste and speed to come through here and to help mine that stuff out. So let me find an area here. I don't know. We could move it later, obviously. Um, let's see here. I think I found it. For now, I'm going to stick it up here. It's perfect distance from there to here. And it should give me the effects all the way around, I, I'm hoping. If not, I can move it. Um, but I think, I think this might be a perfect spot, to be honest. Um, I'm going to keep looking real quick and I got to clear an area out too. That'll be, that'll be pretty good, I guess. Hey, so I got my silk axe out and we're just going to kind of create a little area here. I'm not too sure. I don't know how tall it's supposed to be. Um, so we'll just start somewhere over here inside the wall and then see how big of room we got to clear out um i know that it goes i think four blocks down uh, if i'm not mistaken but around it the base has got to be a nine by nine for a single beacon um but other than that i'm not very smart with when it comes to beacons i've never really made a whole bunch of them so this would be pretty interesting uh, hopefully i get it on the first try uh, let me just mine this out real quick and see what we can come up with. There we go. Haste 2 and Speed 2 is acquired. Uh, did not have enough emeralds to finish the outline like I wanted to. The inner shell is is all... It's all iron, so, but that's okay. Um, oh, I think... Oh, no, I do. Okay, so now let's see... Can it reach all the way over here? That's my goal. So 14, 13, 16. Okay, it does reach over here. I wonder how far it reaches over here. That's my concern or my uh, my question. So it's way over there. So I don't get it over here. Will I start getting it over here? I'm not too sure. I guess we'll just walk inch our way forward until we really 
I don't get it over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right where I want to make the entrance. I think that's a that's a perfect spot then because it'll go down there. That's what okay. That's okay. I can deal with that. What does this guy have to trade? Uh, Nautilus shell. Is that hard to get? I don't think you guys are. No, uh. You guys see nothing. You guys see nothing. Oh, they're attacking me. Uh, you guys can go too. Sorry. You guys were not very useful. I don't want you around here. Thanks for the lead. <laughs> oh, he's running away from me. They just spit at me. Okay. You're done. So what I actually want to do is I got some stuff here. Oh, that coal can go back downstairs. I'm going to end up killing myself. I swear. I'm not very good at this. Um, Put that back in there. Block of coal back up in there. But what I want to do is... And, and there it is. Almost dead. I got to be careful. I say that, but I don't think I'm going to. I want to go searching for some resources. Um, I want to find a lush cave and pick up some of the moss blocks and some of the azalea stuff. I want to use that inside the base. I want to make it kind of like, if you guys don't know, Ethos Lab really inspires me to do YouTube. I love his style of content and just the way he commentates and his, his builds are just absolutely amazing. So I kind of want to, I kind of like his style. So I am going to pick up this azalea tree. I think with the new update, I think the, um, the lush caves are right under this stuff. I think these are rooted, rooted dirt. We'll pick up some of that. I want to go down, down underneath. I think, uh, like I said, I think the lush caves are right down below. And I want to pick up a bunch of resources, do some resource gathering for when we build in the man cave. Um, I want some grass down there and some moss blocks. I think that'd be pretty cool looking. Um, make it look kind of um, homey and alive down below, not just dead. Uh, let's just keep mining here. I think, I think there is a cave around here. I've been over here before. I thought I saw something, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's pick up as much of this stuff as we can. It's, I know it's hard to come by. Uh, unless you grow. Is that, is that a lush cave? What is that? I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to light that up. I'm going to go upstairs and pick up, I think, uh, saplings drop. I think. Or we need the azalea bushes. Um, I'm new to this stuff. I'm not, oh. Oh, well, that's just a normal cave. Unless Lush Cave is right here with it. Which it might very well be. Oh, and yes, it is. There we go. It's right there. Right where I was mining. That is pretty cool. Okay. Let's get some of... Am I able to get some of that stuff? Can I silk touch some of this? Oh, I can. Alright. I guess we can use some of these blocks for decoration. Oh, there's a, that's why there's another oak log right there. Uh, pick up some of these, uh, flowered, flowering azalea leaves. I think that'd be uh, kind of nice to have for some decoration and some flowering azalea leaves. Anyway, I wish I had a, a pair of shears that might be better to have. Oh, whatever. Uh, pick these up. Got a shulker box for some stuff. And let's go down. There's another one right there. Okay. And let's go down. Uh, we need another. We need an empty shulker box. We'll use this one. Put some rooted dirt in there. Make sure I pick these things back up. I'm, I get very scatterbrained when I'm talking and doing this. Oh, boy. I, oh, there's so many. 
There's so many mobs down here. I don't want to. I don't want them to blow up. And well, I mean, if they do, that might be better, honestly. Okay. Well, you killed him. Thank you. Um. Hello. Nope. Okay. Sure. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted. I guess from now on, I'm going to keep my chest plate on when I'm down here. That was uh, very not fun. Let's not do that again. But we need some flowering azaleas, some normal azaleas. I think Can we pick those up too. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I think Can we picked these up with. Oh, we can. Not with that. What do they mine quick with? Just a sword. Okay, well, I lit up some of the area, so hopefully they don't die again. That was kind of... Oh. Ooh. Those. Those. I need those for decorations. That'll be nice. Okay, let's just see if we can pick up as much as we can while we're down here. Is there any more of those blossoms? Those are pretty. Ooh, here we go. Here's another one. How much can we grab? How much of those are down here? I don't see any more that direction. Over here, maybe? Let's keep picking up as much as we can. Um, I know we can grow this stuff too, so I'm not too worried about that. But those... But these, these spore blossoms, those are kind of nice. Those would be nice to have in the cave um, as decorations. How big does this thing go? This thing's pretty huge, not gonna lie. Got mobs for days over here. We'll light up the area, keep my chest plate on. Um, my biggest thing is I like to keep everything lit up um oh that is killed two and one i did okay that's kind of nice i think i have my render distance too too high i'm getting a little bit of frames um probably because i have other things open in the background one second here yeah that seemed to do the trick close a bunch of other programs i need a better cpu honestly mine's okay Better be. Ooh, I was in the shulker box. I don't want to lose that. Um, right there. Do I have all of them? One, two, three, four. Okay, I do. That that would not be good. But I lost some good stuff. It would have been easy to get back, but I think I think I got enough stuff here to take back into the cave. And when we get to decorating. That's a good start. So we'll go back. I honestly need to start working on a storage room of some sorts. I am losing like like everything I put is just in a bunch of shulker boxes and chests. So we'll do that over here. But what I want to do now that we got the haste and stuff, I kind of want to terraform this into a little like cave entrance uh we'll decorate it uh maybe next episode but i kind of want to get a little entrance going here i hate flying out of this thing keep hitting my head on stuff and i was so close to dying at one point i was like a half a heart there's seriously another wandering trader around here that's that's hilarious okay so what i want to do um the entrance. Oh, I need efficiency on this thing. Um, one second. I wonder if I'll get efficiency four or not. Oh no, this is going to get 
No. Well. I... Did not. Oh, wait. Efficiency 4. I can use efficiency 4. There we go. Oh, yeah. That wasn't such a waste. Do we have another efficiency 4 in here? Uh, no. That's okay. Let's go back up and continue what we were going to do. Okay, as I was saying, I kind of want to terraform this area right here into our cave entrance, so to speak. Um, it's kind of just like all rough right here. There's a little, there's a little um, slit right here into the mountain. And if you mine right there, that's literally where I would like to have the entrance. So I am going to cover all of this. I'm going to drain this water because I don't need this water here. And we're going to kind of terraform this thing and have hopefully a nice, decent looking entrance. Um, not very good at building, but we'll see how this turns out. Um, using all this grass, but that's okay. Um, I don't really care. It's, it's, we have silk touch on this pickaxe anyway, or on this shovel. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, good news is now that I can fly, I can fly right into my base if I wanted to and right out. Almost had a quick, quick, easy shot. I kind of want to make an ease out of it, like not just a straight shot up like that. I kind of wanted to make the entrance right there. Um, not sure. Got a lot of blocks, that's for sure. Um. I might have to pick up all this grass and we'll move it later uh, or place it down later. So I want to save some of it. I don't want to just waste it all. It's definitely going to need some work, but it's a good start. Like what I want to do is I'm going to, it's not going to be a straight hole down like that. It's going to be like a cave. And I want to make a bridge here that goes across or just fill in some of this land here, terraform some of this. Um, it's definitely a good start. It's going to be a big work in progress. That's for sure. Um, I think in the next episode, so I'm running a little bit short here. Uh, in the next episode, I kind of want to find a spot where I can make a chess room. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments. But like I said, I'm running a little bit short on time. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and goodbye.